previous years when we've all been able to pack into the church tightly and sing our hearts out. This year it's a bit different because we can't do that, but we're still going to tell that most important story and we're still going to be singing carols and uh, hopefully you'll be able to find an order of service on our website so that if you're at home you can download it and you can sing along with uh, all the carols that we're going to be singing today. So welcome to our parish carol service and I hope you enjoy it as we retell that most important story of all. Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass and the babe lying in the manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purpose of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and for goodwill among all his people, for unity and brotherhood in the church he came to build and especially in this parish. And because of this, of all things, would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor, the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his loving heart. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope is in the word made flesh, and with whom, in the Lord Jesus, we are forever one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer unto the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself has taught us. So let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels Bring us all. Amen. Amen. So let our story begin.
The Annunciation to Zechariah, reading from Luke chapter 1, verses 5 to 25. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the cause of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus has the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me, to take away my reproach among men. <coughs>
Annunciation to Mary, a reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her, and said, Hail, thou art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is her sixth month. She who was called barren, for with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. of Mary to Elizabeth, reading Luke 1, 39-45. And Mary rose in those days, and went into the hill country with haste, into a city of Judah, 
and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of your salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leapt in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which are told her from the Lord. And Mary said, that is the end of the reading. <laughs> A reading from Luke 1, 57 to 67, the birth of John. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbours and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias, after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, There is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, His name is John. And they marvelled all. And his mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosed, and he spake and praised God. And fear came on them that dwelt round about them, 
and all these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, birth of Christ, a reading from Luke's Gospel. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, 
and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. shepherds, a reading from St Luke's Gospel. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now even go unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them.
Confrontation in the Temple. A reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 22 to 28. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the Lord, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, grace of God has appeared for the salvation of all. A reading from Titus. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that we might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and, and hating one another, but that after that the kindness and love of God our Saviour toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Saviour, that being justified by his grace we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. So let us pray. We pray thee, Lord, for all that minister in thy name in thy church. Strengthen them in the time of weakness and direct them in all their work for thee. Give them the spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind, that they may diligently preach thy word and set forth thy glory to the building up of thy church and the salvation of souls. All this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, who rulest the world from everlasting to everlasting, speak to our hearts when men faint or fear, and the love of many grows cold, and there is distress of nations upon earth. Keep us resolute and steadfast 
the things that cannot be shaken and make us to light our eyes behold beyond the things that are seen and temporal, the things that are unseen and eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, by whose command the order of time runs its course, Forgive, we pray thee, the impatience of our hearts. Make perfect that which is lacking in our faith. And while we tarry the fulfilment of thy promises, grant us to have a good hope because of thy word. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, our Heavenly Father, who by the birth of thy Son, Jesus Christ, has visited us with thy salvation. Grant that as we welcome our Redeemer, his presence may shed abroad in our hearts and homes with the light of heavenly joy and peace. And in all our preparations for this holy season, help us to think more of others than of ourselves and to show forth our gratitude to thee for thy unspeakable gift, even the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
let's just ask for God's blessing on each and every one of us. May God Almighty, who by the incarnation of his only begotten Son, drove away the darkness of this world, drive away from us the darkness of sin, and enlighten our hearts with the light of Christian grace, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Just got one more carol to sing. We stand to sing. Mm -hmm. 